Do you ever need to access the HTTP request before it reaches your Spring controller? If so, you probably use it future, right? Uh, do you know it exists another way to achieve that with interceptors? Even if you know, do you know the, dif the differences between filters and interceptors? That's the content of today's video. Let's get started. So to simplify the scenarios with filters and interceptors, I created a simple Spring Boot application with just the web starter and nothing else. Uh, I will create uh, a controller to simulate some orders API just to retrieve an order and just to the control itself doesn't matter. It's just to rely on the filter and interceptor stuff, right? So here I will create a package called DTO and I will define um, order DTO and it will be a record. Um, here we just have an ID and description doesn't matter actually. I will create another package called controller and under it I will create an order controller. And this is a really simple uh, REST controller which will listen on slash orders and we return a static list of orders. Okay, so cool. So let's deep dive on the actual context of the video. Let's start with the filter. Uh, I think it is the more, most familiar for the most developers. Uh, I will call it as all filter just to simulate like, oh, I want to know the uh, authorization uh, header. Okay, just doesn't matter. Um, for the filter, uh, what we have is we need to implement filter and oh, and yeah keep in mind that the the import has been changed from java x servlet to jakarta servlet but it's pretty much the same interface it needs to be a component uh, otherwise spring will not handle it and yeah we have the request response and the chain to call the next filters uh, here's pretty simple i just get in the request and making a json of it with the method that that has been called the path which has been called and the header of the authorization header okay so yeah let's start our application and see what happens okay it has started let me just clear the logs and send the request okay we received it as expected and yeah so in future we receive the method get we don't receive it any uh, off header and on the orders just to make sure it's working let me just add an authorization and test and let's try it and in this case we receive the test as well so it can be a lot used in terms of security because you want to apply any security policy or verification or anything else checks and so on before reaching the actual framework right before entering your application. So you can think as future running outside the Spring Framework because it, it actually is. So it's more secure to deny an access uh, on the outside, right, than inside. So that's it for filters. Let's take a look on interceptors now. I will create another package here like interceptor and create a request timing interceptor just to log the, the performance of the application, right? And here we need to implement a handler interceptor, which is part of no more from Jakarta EE, but now from Spring Framework. And this is important. And it has three main methods that we can implement. And in this example, we are just implementing two, but uh, let's, let's take a look on it. Let me just uh, implement the other one. So let's start with the pre-handle, pre-handle, sorry. Uh, the pre-handle occurs before the request reaches, the, invokes the controller method. It, it is under the Spring MVC framework, but it's right at before, sorry, right before uh, invoking the controller method. The post-handle 
is the opposite. It is right after invoking the controller method, but before sending the response to the client. And on the other hand, after completion is the overall completion. So like it, it occurs, it, it is invoked after response is sent to the client. Okay. So in our example here, we are not using post handle. We are just using pre handle and after completion on pre handle, we are setting an attribute called start timer, which just set the current uh, milliseconds of uh, whenever the, the execution invokes this method, which is right before the method on the controller. And after completion, which will get the start time and oh, and also get um, the actual time, the end time, and make the subtraction, right? And also create a simple JSON here, like start time, end time, and duration, the, the interval of it. And this method is just to format these dates here into a simple date format instead of milliseconds. So let's see what happens. So now we are expecting to have a log with interceptor right plus the filter and remember that we need to annotate the interceptor as component as well and let's call it okay 200 and whoa we just see the filter we don't see the interceptor why because actually we need to register the interceptor so we need a config i will call it interceptor config which is a, oh, a configuration and needs to implement web mvc configure uh, here i'm just injecting the request time interceptor and yeah just adding registering the interceptor that we have and that's basically the what we need so let's try once again and see if it works oh let me just raise this and voila now we have the interceptor now we have the duration which is the difference between them in milliseconds uh, pretty fast obviously just returning a static list and the other attributes we set and this is cool interceptor is cool because we can we have like more control over the request and also the response right uh, with these three methods we can override or implement so let's do a quick recap here so filters we use when we want to access in a more low level of the request itself which relies on the servlet api and it comes before reaching the spring mvc framework and with interceptors we have more control over the request and the response and we can implement three methods which are pre-handle which occurs right before the method of from the controller being invoked and post handle which occurs right after the method has been completed and returned but before sending the response to the client and after completion which which occurs after the response being sent to the client so that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed as much as i did subscribe to the channel hit the like button and see you in the next videos bye bye